Hi, today a look on teardown of this thing. It is a control panel out of a Breguet Atlantic aircraft. It is the anti-submarine warfare aircraft of the French Navy or Air Force. So it is from the middle 60s I found and this particular panel is for setting the parameters of torpedoes. So it looks like you will set the depth of the torpedo when you drop it into the water. You set at with depth, depth it will search either if you are search, uh, hunting for a surface ship or for submarine. So it is made for uh, MK46 or 44 torpedoes. Oh. And you have uh, settings here for sailing and floor and also it is written here ASD is smaller or equals to floor quite weird I do not know what it is all about so this must be depth in uh, feet maybe this ISD letters I do not know what they stand for and sailing on floor is maybe for setting a range of uh, of search in uh, depth. You set uh, upper and lower limit because if you have a friendly surface ship in the sea and you know there is a bad submarine below, you want to the, the torpedo to search for the submarine and not for the ship. Maybe it is something like this. We have button power here, and here you have something else for L4. I do not know what the, it is, maybe it is for a sonar boy. You can select uh, two of them with a warm up provision and uh, lights here. And apparently, the aircraft was carrying eight torpedoes. So, about this device. It is uh, made by the. There is a CN logo and it is made by the Electronic Workshop of the Quers uh, Air Force Base. It is uh, one of the main uh, uh, bases for the uh, French Air Force, I believe. I need to check. It is in Southern France, I think. And very interestingly enough, it, uh, interestingly, the serial number is 2. And here it is written on this label uh, Equipment modified for MES. No clue what it is for. It stands for. We have some uh, quality stamps at the back. And someone written it was for Atlantic One aircraft. Here at the back, three connectors called ABC and two thus fasteners, which I will remove. To reveal the contents. Oops. So here is what we have. I was expecting a little bit more, actually but still it is uh, pretty inside so the switches are very very nice the rotary switches really the feeling you have when you turn them they are not too hard but they are well uh, clicky enough and really they are nice so we have another time the same labels here and inside we have all the stuff for the front panel which is mounted uh, with a wiring harness and we have three circuit boards. This one is populated mainly with uh, big, uh, what seems to be glass coated or uh, weird at least, uh, 200 ohm resistors. They are all the same value, I think, according to what I saw. At the back here, we have four uh, diodes in. Uh, this uh, older piece in a uh, fiber-ish material and in fact it is quite fun because this is very similar to setups I saw in uh, Soviet electronics either the shape of the diodes or the, this uh, 
piece with holes inside. It is uh, quite amazing. So there is nothing else on this PCB, but here we have two more or less similar PCBs with uh, quite big resistors here with military quality stamp here in the, uh, as you can see. On the legs, we are bent over probably to dissipate some heat. There is at the back there a big uh, relay on the dead code of January 1964. Some transistors, 2N338, uh, three, 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 uh, it seems. Here is the other side of the relay. This leg is connected to air, it seems. It is not used, but they did not uh, do anything to prevent it to vibrating loose. In fact, we have two others here, but these ones were uh, insulated with heat shrink, not this one. And here you have a little schematic for the relay, two more of the diodes in metal cans, one more transistor. On the other PCB, which we can see from this opening, is, uh, yes, actually it is the same PCB. So, a transistor made by Retheon 2N329, so very old school transistors. Look, the dead code is of 1963. And here we have a better view to those uh, resistors. The other transistor here is branded Sesco, and we have nice uh, diode uh, logo on the diode, showing the direction of fuse. Beefy screws to keep the thing in place. And apart from this, uh, uh, we have an integrated backlight as usual in the front. And all this stuff is pretty uh, generic in fact. But all the parts I see so far are uh, seem to be French made, except for the right on transistor maybe. So we have always the same kind of little bulbs made by Astara 28 volts. So yes, sounds like a French uh, brand name. The uh, little uh, lights here are made by uh, ECE I believe. And this I cannot really see, but quite a beefy uh, switch. And in fact, I have uh, a few of them already in stock of this model. And here we have these two lights on the top are uh, coupled with uh, micro switches. So at the same time, you have uh, light, but micro switches at the back, so they are push buttons at the same time. Very clicky this one because we have two micro switches. The other one here has only one. There is a, a filling material here. And the very nice rotary switches. Okay, so I was expecting a little bit more electronics in this, but at the same time, I was not expecting it to be so old. I was thinking to. Uh, about 70s or 80s uh, vintage, no 60s, and it is quite uh, in good condition, so it will be uh, probably a very nice uh, display item for my collection, and nice buttons to play with. Okay, thanks for watching. Bye bye.